Welcome to Weapons Rundown, where I take some of your favorite weapons, your least favorite weapons, and weapons you've never heard of, and run them down and break them down as fast as I can, giving you a little bit of the history, a little bit of how they work, and showing you if you can actually use them for self-defense. Ideally, this series is designed so that you can check out whatever weapon you're really interested in, learn a little bit about them, and realize whether or not you can actually get them and use them for what you may or may not want them for. Today, we are going over the butterfly knife. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the modern ninja. Now, butterfly knives have existed for quite a while and in today's day and age, there's all kinds of butterfly knives. You have your classic trainers that come in all kinds of different colors. You can tell they are trainers because they are not blades in the slide. They are literally designed so that you can try and do crazy tricks with them without accidentally cutting yourself with them. You're also going to have your real ones that are actually sharp blades that are designed to be used as a standard pocket knife. Um, opening boxes, opening letters, things like that. These are gonna be uh, relatively thin blades, but good for general pocket blade uses where you know, you're cutting whatever it is that you need to cut for the day. Plus having it just will be a good conversation piece because whipping out a pocket knife is just something that's gonna get attention. So if you want people to be like, ooh, you're cool, this is where you would go. And in the same route, you could get a butterfly knife that isn't actually a knife at all. This one specifically is a bottle opener. Like you can see that it's just designed to pop open bottles. So at the party, if you wanna be like, ha ha ha, pop, 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 you can. Man, I really do have like a weird variety of weapons throughout my house. This is, this is interesting. Guys, this is editing DJ. Uh, I'm working on editing these videos and I realized in this one, I say pocket knife so many times when I actually mean butterfly knife. I am sorry, I'm not gonna refilm the whole thing, but I'm just letting you know that half the time when I say pocket knife, I just mean butterfly knife. My bad. Pocket knives are great and really fun to use depending on what you want to use it for. If you want just a gimmick to open up bottles at parties, you got it. If you want just something to practice tricks with and show off to your friend doing all cool tricks for TikTok, you, you got it. If you want just a cool pocket knife that you can use on your day to day at work and you want to be the talk of the town, again, you got it. But you're gonna find an issue in my opinion when you start using these for self-defense, which is kind of weird when you think about it. For self-defense, if you look at this real blade here, obviously it's, it, is, it is absolutely sharp. And I don't know why I stuttered when I said it is, but we're gonna just continue. Um, it is absolutely sharp and the sharpness is not the, the problem when it comes to this knife. The problem is gonna be the fact that the blade stops here. Like the only thing attaching the blade to the handle are two nuts, two screws. And that's just not a lot of uh, security when it comes to self-defense. The last thing I would like is for me to stab into the person that's attacking me and have the knife break off so I can't use it going forward. If I was, for example, being uh, in a position where I had to protect myself from multiple people and my knife breaks on the first person, not really ideal. It also has the chance of getting stuck, locked, or just cutting yourself when you open it, which makes it, again, not ideal for a high stress situation like a self-defense situation would be. So in my personal opinion, it's not great for self-defense or combat, not really at all. Which is weird because these knives are actually banned in many places for that reason. And honestly, it's not really for that reason, but I'll explain. These knives are banned in many parts of the US and the world as a whole. And most of the bands will consider them as dangerous weapons. And that's why they're banned when other knives like straight knives or uh, folding knives or things like that are not banned. And those are honestly better. So why are these banned? I'll tell you. In the 50s and 60s, these were some of the weapons of choice by the mob and specifically the mob on TV and movies um, that generally were bad guys weapons. Like these would be carried by mobsters thugs, gangs, things like that. And so in the public eye, these became evilized and demonized and everyone was pretty much just scared of them for no reason. Well, I mean, they're knives still, so you can be a little scared, but you get it. They're not any more dangerous than any other knife. But due to the uh, mass fear that these knives had, they became banned in many areas, 
just because they didn't want you to look like a thug uh, carrying this knife and they want to be able to, to arrest people using this knife that may have been arrested or may have been connected to the mafia or other gangs in the area. Now, why can I have mine? Because one, the original law was overturned and now states can choose whether or not these will be allowed in their state. And I, as some of you may know, live in Texas, where all knives and pretty much all firearms are illegal, which is really convenient considering what I do, but I digress. If you live in a place like I do where you can own a pocket knife, I will leave several links down below where you can get any kind of color and design, trainers, real ones, bottle openers, all kinds if you so choose. As always, links are down in the description below. But if you wanna see my videos early, definitely consider joining the uh, members only channel or the members only page, subscribing, I don't know how it's called, but join my members on the channel so that you can see this and other videos early and when i start getting members i'll run your names at the end of the video like credits because you guys will be the ones that really help support me and the channel but until next time my name's dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out be the modern ninja but lift off just know i'm dangerous I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to